Hi guys, it is Alisa here or the Diamond Stitcher as I go by on YouTube and Instagram. Good morning or good evening, whatever time you find yourself watching this video. It is morning for me and it's a beautiful sunny day in my part of Canada. Uh, so I wanted to do this unboxing. I received these three things in the mail yesterday and um, I'm really excited to see what's in these packages. Uh, I think I have two pens and then the other thing, what's the other thing? I think uh, two pens and I think uh, some special diamonds from another Canadian shop. So let's get into this. I hope you all are having uh, a good day. Well, I probably shouldn't be doing that on this table. My husband's going to kill me. Oh, boy. I thought I'd come here because it's kind of near the window where there's um, some nice natural light. So this is from a small shop in Canada. Now, unfortunately, she doesn't have a business card. And I never thought I'll pop her shop like a picture up above now on the screen of her shop. Di and I'm probably not going to say it right because it's not written anywhere. Diamonds and Strass, I believe, um, from Quebec. And she carries some artwork that I believe she draws um, for that you can get converted to a diamond painting. I think she also offers diamond paintings. And then she has... Um, Special diamonds, which is what I went there for. This just looks like a little, is it a sticker? Yeah, a sticker of, this is an old master's art piece. I can't remember the name of the, the print, but I remember I made a tray, a resin tray uh, with this image as well. But I wanted to check out her for these special crystals. You, you've probably heard in other videos that um, I'm just checking out a variety of different, this is another old master sticker. Um, a variety of different shops on Etsy in Canada that offers different um, crystals or special diamonds so that uh, some of you guys have options if ordering from the States is not um, feasible for you. So these are called Red Flame and they're four squares. Now it doesn't matter because squares and round canvases are different in sizes. Uh, one of them is 2.5 millimeters, the other is 2.8. I believe the rounds are the bigger one. So these little guys are four squares. I love these kind of crystals that have like this ombre effect of different colors. I see orange, pink, uh, yellow. Very pretty. That's called red flame. And then rose gold I just got. These are metallics. I just picked a bunch of random things that I didn't have to see. On first look, they look great quality. I'm not seeing any tabs or, um, you know, trash diamonds. And then I got... Um, Sapphire AB for square, this one's called. This is an AB coated crystal. I just like the ombre light and dark blue color. I think they make diamond paintings stand out a lot. I use these kind of diamonds in my one of my diamond art clubs, the Periton it's called, Blue Flame for squares. I'm trying to get them to shake over. As you can see on a crystal uh, or a glass bead, um, they have that silver backing on it, and that's because the the actual diamond is a little bit see-through, so it needs that silver backing in order to cover the symbol underneath. This is pretty. This is probably one of my favorite color mixes. You can see purple, orange, pink, some yellow too. Very pretty. So that's a diamond. I'm, I'm sorry if I'm saying the shop name wrong, but I will have it posted on the screen. Diamonds and Strass, um, based out of Quebec. And these were reasonably priced, and you get, you get a, a good, um, good amount here. Uh, so I do recommend trying those out. I will add these to my collection. Now I have two pens here. Let's open, oops, sorry, I bumped the camera. Let's open this little box. This comes from Donna Bass. I'm just going to pull it off camera because I did not cover the addresses. Okay, so <laughs> a bunch of address stuff popping out everywhere. Here we go. So this is from Donna Bass. Her pens always come in this nice little package. Um, well protected and well wrapped they have a facebook group called custom pens by donna bass that's where they do their drops their pen drops she also does take custom orders you can message her on facebook messenger um she could let you choose from a variety of her own blanks or you could buy a blank from another shop and have it sent directly to her to turn um i think she can turn almost anything and i really am happy with the quality of the pens that i've gotten from her they're finished to perfection you're not seeing any of the lath lines or laid lines. Uh, I still don't know how to say that, right? Um, they're polished very well, and you can just tell that she cares about her product, and she takes her time to make sure they're perfect before she sends them out. So I do recommend her. Looks like there's some cute stickers in here. 
nice little holographic stickers. Push that out of the way. And let's open this thing. Now this pen I saw in her probably two weeks ago or a week ago. It usually takes, if I order from her, um, usually takes maybe a week and a half once she shipped it to get to BC. Um, but when I saw this pen, my jaw dropped and I knew I had to have it. <clears throat> As my favorite color, purple. I love these flower pens. Um, now, I'm not sure where this flower blank is from. I believe she gets them either from Flower Girl Blanks in the States or Norse, Norse Alchemist, um, which is in Europe somewhere. But I just saw this. I love the wood in the middle, the hybrid. I don't have a pen like this anymore. I like the thickness of it. It's absolutely perfect. And then who doesn't like a bit of extra bling on a pen? Those are secured in there really nicely. They're not going anywhere. Really well-made pen. Look at that beauty. Um, I was very lucky. I think I was like the 10th person to comment on the pen. Um, when they do post them, they post some fast grabs, which means the first person to comment gets the pen. They also post some random number generators where everybody numbers themselves off, starting at one, and then they run a random wheel picker to choose the winner. That's how I won this one. So I'm super, super grateful. Purple, again, is my favorite color. And I think this is going to be one of my new favorite pens. Every time I open a new pen, it becomes my favorite. I don't know about you guys. Hi, guys. I am entering this little clip here after uh, the video was filmed. Um, I filmed this video a little while ago, a couple weeks ago, uh, when I received uh, the, the pen that you just saw. Uh, but I've since come to know that, that Donna needs the community's help. She's been in the community longer than I have been. Uh, she was one of the first pen turners that I came to know for great quality diamond painting pens. And I've bought quite a few pens from her over the, the couple years that I've been diamond painting. A little bit about her story is um, she's a typical hardworking uh, lady uh, in, in America uh, who has two beautiful children by adoption. Uh, however... Her youngest, um, unfortunately, during the adoption process, they had a shady lawyer and uh, didn't do the things that they were supposed to do. And now uh, there's a risk that uh, her youngest is taken from their home uh, unless they come up with the fees to pay this new lawyer. Now, um, I know she, she doesn't want to ask for help, <laughs> and I usually don't do this, but she is a sweet lady, and I only... Can imagine the turmoil she's going through and not only that but the trauma that that her youngest daughter Ireland would face uh, should she be removed from the home um, she is actually the biological sibling to the, their oldest child that is adopted um, which is super special as well that they're together and it's so important I think uh, for for a child going through what they go through uh, anyways I wanted to uh, put this video out uh, now because Donna needs our help you can help in a few ways um, some close people to her did start a GoFundMe I will have a link in the description box if you would like to donate that way uh, but there are a couple other options to help her out. And you can, uh, first thing is purchasing a pen from her. Now she does um, drops every Thursday in her Facebook group where she'll put a bunch of pens out that are made for random number generator winners or first come, like first grab pens. So you can purchase that way. But she also takes customs. So if you send her a message on Facebook Messenger and let her know what you're looking for, she'll let you know if she has the blank in-house and uh, she'll communicate with you on making a custom pen which I highly recommend doing. Uh, I have won some pens in her drops and I've also gotten some customs made uh, and, and um, they're always made in a timely manner and they arrive in pristine condition. Uh, she is also having to go through her entire diamond painting collection, her stash, and sell everything. And she's starting to do that in her Facebook group as well. Uh, so if you'd like to purchase that way, maybe she has a kit you're looking for um, you can help her that way. So there's a few different ways. You can also help by just sharing this info, um, letting uh, more people know that she needs help. Uh, I think she's well known in the community. As I said, she's been around for a while and she does make really awesome diamond painting pens. So this is just a little shout out to her. I really hope the community uh, can come around her and, and help uh, in the goal to uh, keep Ireland in the home that she knows, the only home she knows. Um, 
yeah, so that that's it. I just wanted to insert this now as this is happening. Um, this is May 1st that I'm adding this clip in, and this is uh, the plea that, that she needs help now. So if you have it in you to help or you can help, that is great. Uh, sharing is helping as well. Don't forget that. Um, and she, I'm sure she'll appreciate everything uh, from everyone. So um, let's continue on with the video. Now I have another pen over here. This one is from Bistro Blanks. I've been going crazy over at Bistro Blanks lately. They keep posting pens that I just really like, or I found them on their Etsy shop. Make sure there's no address stuff. I think it's in the envelope. So they do have an Etsy shop, Bistro Exclusives it's called. They do have pens listed there that you can buy straight out. They also have a Facebook group called... I think Bistro Exclusives Group. I'll have all the information for these shops linked down below. And in their Facebook group, they do the similar thing to Donna Fast. They list some fast grab pens, so the first person to comment gets it, or they do random number generators. Um, I can't remember how I got this pen, so we'll have to get in, cut into it to see. I've purchased both through Facebook and through their Etsy shop. I actually have another order in process from them. I saw a pen on their shop that I thought my mom would really like, and then um, I decided to get her to make me an egg pen to try. It looks like she sent a little heart of wax that you can use in your diamond painting pens. little pretty butterfly cover minder with some nice size magnets on the back. This is a thank you card. Let me open it off camera in case the invoice is in there. I never remember if they send invoices. I don't, I don't need it um, because... Um, it's all online. Anyway, they always send this nice personalized card. Thank you for your support. We appreciate it very much. Hope you enjoy Under the Sea. Happy diamond painting, Laura. Now, I still don't remember what this was. That's bad, y'all, when you don't remember what you order. But it's like it's Christmas Day every time you get a package. <laughs> and I've recently gone through what I consider my diamond painting kind of mid midlife crisis where I'm buying all the things again. So let's see. It always comes in a nice uh, cover. Oh, yeah. So this one, I saw this too, and I thought I need that one. So it was another random number generator. Um, I used to love this movie growing up. And with the event Mermaids and Magic going on right now, even though I'm not participating, I just had to have this pen. I'm going to zoom into the bottom here. She's got shells down here. One of them has a little pearl in it. It's hard to see because of the glare. Can I see that? Little pearl. I'm very beautiful with an enamel a mermaid, a little starfish at the top, and some um, bunny tails, I think you call them, at the bottom. A little bit of seaweed in there, too. Beautiful pen. Perfect thickness. Um, I like how they're pens. They tend to turn one side a little tiny bit thinner than the other. Um, this is a good size for me. I absolutely love the colors. I totally forgot I ordered this. It's beautiful. So I now have two favorite pens, two new favorite pens <laughs> that I'll be putting to use probably today. You'll probably see them in my next whip and chat that I um, film. Um, with Bistro Blank, she does send the tips with Donna Bass. I think I said don't send the tips. Um, with Bistro, I decided to have them sent to me because sometimes I give pens away and I always feel bad that I don't have any plastic tips to send with them. So I'll be saving those. Anyway, that's it for this this haul, small shop haul. Let me lay the, the, the things, the goodies out here. So we've got some two beautiful pens and then some fancy crystals from uh, Diamonds and Strass. So look down below in the description for all the details to these shops. Otherwise, happy diamond painting, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.